like the Beatles, but I also shine the shoes. I'd like my pictures in my black, black chrome will do. My friends went skiing, but they didn't ask me to. So I was moping till she pulled up in her car. I asked, won't you be with me, huh? Go out in your two seats. on by the pigs, and about 12 got intimidated by the stroppy duet. The stroppy duet? Yeah? They got muscled out of Covent Garden by a clown and two dogs. They're down at Trocadero now. I'll nut them for you later. Thanks. Anyway, I start a money job tomorrow, only mornings, so I'll take over in the afternoon about one o'clock, OK? No problem. Good grief! Steve's idea of paradise. Oh, Steve McGarrett. <laughs> Steve's the boss. I can hear you, Trisha! Fuck him, Dano. Murder one. Your first one will be here any minute. You know the procedure. There's only one thing to remember. Never go upstairs. Why? Rules, that's all. How did your training go? Six weeks of hairy hell. <laughs> no, it was OK, really. It seems a really cruel thing to do, even to a dummy. Oh, well, you're on to real people now. Not that you'd notice the difference with most of them. <laughs> This is Susan. Who'll be doing you today? Hey, Kim Asavi. I can't get started. No, this won't take a second, Mr. Edger. What a baby, <gasps> Susan. Hang the DJ, hang the DJ, hang the DJ, hang the DJ. Susan! So, this link I'm stitching onto your hair now, as close to the root as I can get it. <laughs> That's what I'll sew more links onto, thus forming a grid across your ball patch. Then I'll sew the new F's of hair onto that grid. See? Yeah, see. Does it always take this long? I think it varies. That's a brilliant suit. Oh, I wasn't sure when I bought it. You look good in sackcloth. Well, it, it's my first time here, you see. Mine too. Well, not to worry. He's doing a great job. Thanks. 
What made you decide to do this? My new job. It's an advertising company. It'll try and fit in. It's in Chelsea. Bound to be really trendy. <gasps> I'm sure I have seen you somewhere before. Oh. 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 Right, Mr. Edger, I've matched you. Is everything all right, Mr. Edger? Oh, yes, yes, everything's fine, thank you. Are you sure? Really, Susan's doing a great job. I, I was just a bit nervous, that's all. Perfect match. Thanks for not complaining about me. That's OK. <sighs> Your sunny smile, your Paris style, the way you shimmy with that foxy guile. I'm crazy about you, baby, won't you stay? Can you see anything? No, I bloody can't. Why, what's it like? It's a jungle out here. Oh, my hair, what's my bloody hair look like? <laughs> Terrible. Susan! Could you take Mr. Dunn? I'll take Mr. Edger. Oh. There we are. It's Mr. Edger's first time. Well, here we are. <laughs> it's good downstairs, isn't it? I did that when I came back from the Seychelles. I was inspired. Mm, inspired. You like? Yeah. Just got back from Portugal. Playing golf with Brucey. Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? This is only the beginning. I feel inspired. Mm, inspired. Only one rule and you have to break it. Bloody hell! What's the big deal in there? I was in the weak fitting cubicle. So? Well, how long do you think their own hair last been pulled into those tight links by the roots, eh? You mean we gradually pull their hair out and we sell them a wig? That's where the big money is, wigs. Not a word. And don't think about it. I don't. Now, what's the problem? He's got a thick yellow crust on his head. Oh, it's only old shampoo. They can't rinse properly underneath the wefts. It builds up after a couple of months. I see. You'll just have to chisel it off. It's a tough job, kid, but somebody's got to do it. Just get on with it. You like? Huh? It's fantastic. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Bob. Really. Now, don't you forget to come back and see us, all right? Uh, you see, because it'll start to get loose as your hair grows, but nothing we can't handle. I want to see you in six to eight weeks' time, OK? Yes. Lovely. Thank you very much.
How's it been? Uh, fine, fine. You don't sound too sure. Hasn't it changed your life? <laughs> I've certainly done that. I like it. I've just got to learn to trust it. <laughs> How long's it been since you had it done? Two months. Really? God, it feels like a year since I saw you. You see, the hair's grown in the meanwhile. The link that holds the grid with wefts of hair on is no longer next to the scalp. It's a few inches further down. So the wefts are quite loose on your head. I'm surprised you asked for me. I hope to God you've improved. <laughs> I saw you one lunchtime busking. Yeah? Yeah, well, you, you vanished before I could say hello. So I, I thought I'd seen you somewhere before. That's where it was, by the tube station. That's where I'd seen you before, singing. Really? You remembered me? Yeah. God. Well, I mean, of course I remember you. You've got a brilliant voice. Do you really think so? Yeah, well, if there's any justice, you'd be a star. Thank you. Uh, Bob, uh, seriously, um... Yeah? How do you think that happens, eh? I'll do Mr. Edges, Susan. But I've already started him. Go and clean the cubicle, too. I'm afraid we're suffering from staff shortages. I'm sorry I can't spare Susan right now. Our hair, not yours, so don't worry. Ow! This way, Mr. Edger. I leave you in Steve's capable hands. I'll see you next time. You betrayed my trust. I told you not to think about it. I told you never even to mention it. But, oh, no. I know what was going on in there. I know where that little scene was leading. But I'm afraid I have no alternative but to let you go. Surprise, surprise. Well, I don't want to be part of this racket anyway. Racket! Racket! It's not a racket. It's a business. Look, Susan, if Steve thought one of the clients... Didn't get his last bit of remaining hair torn out by the roots. Right! Just get your things and go. I'll send your cotton later. Bob, I'm sorry, but I just had to tell you. What I was trying to say was... Susan! What I... Susan, please. Shall we talk about this later? No, yeah, we have to like. This is what I mean. Don't! Oh, my God! <gasps> See? The linking makes your hair fall out. You'll end up in here like this. You're forking out a fortune for one of these. Oh! You stupid little cow! No problems, Mr. H. Look at you! Oh! 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 There you go. How's that? Ah, uh, it's very kind of you. Thank you. Don't mention it. Thank you. What for? For giving me confidence in myself, for having faith in me, and most importantly, getting me out of that place. Will you go out with me? Cool. What? Looking like this with all this hair? Will you? Yes, yes, I will go out with you. I'll even stay in with you if you like. In fact, I'll go anywhere you want me to. Boldly. What? Boldly. Oh, boldly. Yes, yes. Uh, my mission shall be to boldly go where no man has gone before. <laughs> boldly. Something happened. Something changed. And I feel as though I turned a brand new page 
And I believe it started on the day when I met you. Oh. oh. 